Hi guys, Born here, Tough Mudder UK coach, and here are some exercises you can do at home with the family. <laughs> Hello, I'm Pascal Barakor and I'm seven. Hello, I'm Blakely Ray and I'm four years old. Hi, I'm Avery Barakor and I'm nine. On the spot, there we go. And then we're going to do something called a dynamic stretch. And what that means is, keep running, keep running, keep running. <laughs> what that means is, in a minute, we're going to put our feet shoulder width apart. First thing we're going to do is lift your knee and touch like so. There it is. Can you count to four for me? One, two, two three. Four, and then swap sides. Other knee. One, One two, two, three, four. Now we're going to do four big. It's like a superhero bird pee, but it's just touch the floor and reach up. How many we got? One. Two. There we go. Three. Four. four. And then one more. Big arms. This is called dynamic stretching. At the end of the workout, we're going to do some static stretching to stretch out our muscles. So parents, here are some really good tips around engaging your kids when you want to burn off some energy, either at the beginning, middle or end of the day. The first thing is you're never out. Okay guys, today we're doing the running on the spot challenge. The idea is you have to try and stay my pace through this challenge. No one's ever out, so you're never out in our games, but try and keep up as much as you can. You ready? Knees higher, knees up. Pascal, you're running like a grandpa. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Second, time limits are really important for kids. If they know the structure, they know when they're going to be playing, how long they play for, that is really important. And also, if you can count down in the rounds that you're playing, it gives them a sense of knowing where they are in that actual game. Okay, guys, today we're going to do a press-up challenge. We're going for 10 seconds. Who can do a press-up for 10 seconds? Me. Yeah? Me. Well, we haven't started yet. We haven't started yet. Get ready in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. There we go. You can either do press-ups like Avery's doing the full press-up or like Pascal's doing on his knees or like Blakely's doing a variation of both. Nine, eight, keep going. Seven, six, Pascal. Four, three, two, one. Be part of the game. Don't just sit on the sideline. Get involved yourself. Even if you fall over and make yourself look a bit silly, they will appreciate the fact that you are getting involved with them and having as much fun as they are. If you want to learn how to start like a sprinter, this is how you do it for your garden races. You're going to take your most powerful foot, place it up, and then you're going to make an L. And then you can see that powerful foot and make an upside down L, and that's when you go into your kneeling position. When we say set, that back leg's going to come up, and you're going to push off when I say go from the powerful foot. And that's how we start our garden races. Are you guys ready? Set. Way. Okay guys, what you can do as well to even up the playing field is adapt the race. So these guys are going to hop, Blake the Ray is going to run just to level it out. <laughs> there we go. It's so important to get your little mothers active during lockdown, not only for their physical and mental health, but also just to burn off energy and have fun whilst they're at home. Mama, little mother, I get money.